Well, good morning. It's Tuesday, um, November the 3rd, and it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And look where I am. It is nice out there, man. It's supposed to rain today, but it doesn't look all that bad to me, really. I mean, you know, it could rain, I suppose, but uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to uh, yeah, give, out, give, give, give this little beach a try this morning and see what happens. Obviously, did some kind of some kind of rain or something that's kind of knocked the sand down a little bit. But I think I'll hunt along there a little bit and see what happens, and I'll get back to you if I find anything. So, see you in a bit. I don't know. It's in the dry. Oh shoot! I forgot to fix my scoop. break off of there if I'm not careful. Yeah. Got me a quarter already this morning. Nice. Take it. Okay, so... Haha, <laughs> don't mighty. That's beautiful. That is really... Really pretty. Hmm. Yeah, that's a gooder. Okay, well, I'm getting lots of targets this morning. Some sound pretty good. Ah, uh, the sun, sun's looking good. Let's see what this guy is. Right in there, whatever it is. Has a low tone. I suspect it's probably a nickel. Well, what do you know about that? It's a nickel. <laughs> Check out the kelp on the beach here. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is, the wind is really plays hard on this microphone. This is really a, really a blustery little day here that we got. There's our white caps out there. It's blowing it down pretty flat, but it's uh, it wouldn't be fun out there right now. Interesting sight. All that kelp has been brought up on the beach, probably with a lot of sand too. I haven't heard a damn target since I've been out on this thing. Probably not the best place to be hunting. Oh. Look at that. Nice quarter. I'll take it. Okay, so people, I think, come off the road, jump off this bank, and lose stuff right in here. And this is what I just, I just dug up this hole. It was pretty deep. Yeah, I don't know what it is. We'll see. Just a theory on my on my part. Yeah, it's a quarter. I'll take it. Well, I'm I'm up on the uh, volleyball courts. Got got that fine sounding signal. 
Let's see what that is. I see it it's right there. Yeah. Boy, look at that. That's a shiny one. Whoa. Brand new. Okay. okay. So walking along here. Just walking along. Swung that coil over this thing and I looked down and it's um right there. I have no idea what it is. It looks black. Aren't you curious to know what the hell that thing is? Well, let's pick it up and see what it is. It rings really nice. Well that, folks, is I don't know what the hell that thing is. It looks like it might be some kind of a, a ring for a a lens or something. <laughs> well, it's kind of a ring in the scoop, but uh, we really can't count it. Look at that. Another surface find. I actually, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm hearing it with the uh, with the coil. It makes me, it gets, gets my attention. But look down, and there it is. It's sitting right there. <laughs> cool. All right. It's, oh, it's a quarter. And we'll take him. Now the damn dime makes a low grunting sound. That's really weird. Huh. Well, look at my scoop. Digging in that gravel, or digging in, the, dig, digging in that... In that... Um, Clay. I buggered this tip of that thing up. Straighten that puppy up. This scoop needs some help. <laughs> in the dry sand, these things sound quite a bit different than they do when you're out there on the dam. Um, I don't know why it is. That could be the fresh water, I guess, that fell on them. I don't know. But, oh, look at that. That's a twofer. Yeah, two pennies. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is probably the last target of the day. It doesn't sound all that wonderful. Hmm. Yep. It sounds a little better now. What do we got? Yeah, got a nickel. Yeah, that's about her, I think. Okie dokie, well, I'll see you at the wrap-up. Okay, so we got a wrap-up for a Tuesday morning. Um, so it wasn't that bad a day. Didn't really find anything cool, but I found a lot of stuff. There's a lot of junk. The usual junk pile. Little tent stakes and hair clips, etc. Oddities are kind of, well, they're not all that odd. I did find this race for the cure thing. And uh, funny looking nut. This gizmo. 
some kind of an escapement thing. I don't know what it is. This rang up really high. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It could be some could be a button or part of something, part of a button. Um my cool ring. <laughs> now, this is definitely something to hold to hold in a lens. It's probably for a for a um, an eyepiece or a monocle or something like that. Now, the reason I say that because it does have threads right there, and there's also there's some spots on the inside that are worked out to uh, to accept a tool to tighten it on the inside. So it probably holds the lens in for something. And then a couple of coins. The uh, I think that's a. I'm not really sure. It, it's kind of fancy. My guess is that it's a euro coin. Don't know. Let's see, I'll put it. See if we can see if we can get a good focus on that. There we go. And this coin, this is too small to be a penny and too large to be a dime. Okay, I guess it could be a penny, but it's I don't know what the hell it is. Gotta clean it up. Maybe you can see what it is. Treasures, buck seventy-five and quarters. Uh, three dimes, two nickels, and about ten pennies. And that's it. That's all I got for the day. Um, nothing else really to report. It's pretty much just a day like any other day. So, really pretty. It did not rain on me. It did get a little windy. It's still a little bit windy. Um, but it's a, it's a nice day. I hope you have a nice day. Happy hunting, and thanks again for watching. Okay, so a couple of videos back, I was hunting in some clay banks and I found this. And a lot of you guys have made mention of the fact that you think that it might be some kind of a hot rock. Uh, my experience with hot rocks is that they're usually ferrous. This is not ferrous. This ring is completely non-ferrous. And it's, it's really, an interesting specimen. I'm going to get. Um, I'll make some some still pictures of it as well. But look at that. It's got a. It has a sheen to it. It is definitely not lead. It's extremely heavy. Really, really heavy. It seems like it would be about as heavy as lead. Maybe not quite as heavy. And what makes me really think that it's not a rock is that I, I ground off a little co corner of it here, and look at that. I mean, I can, I can polish that sucker up to where it really shines. Um, it tests negative for silver, so it's not 925 or any kind of a silver alloy. Um, but it's um, really an unusual looking stone. So I'm, I'm open, open for suggestions, folks. Let me know what you think. Or if you got any recommendations on how I can find out what the hell this thing is, let me know what you think. Anyway, that's what it is. Hmm.